Hello everybody, I was sent new uh, makeup from Cargo Cosmetics. It's their new, I don't know if it's new, it's new to me, their swimmable line. So it's supposed to be able to last all day when you're in the pool or at the beach. And I was sent it to do a little review. I've been wearing it for several days and I really like it. There's some products I'm not so sure about, but there are some products that I love. First of all, all of it is Cargo Cosmetics from the swimmable line. Uh, it comes with, you can get a foundation, you can get an awesome blush that is swimmable, and you can get some eyeshadows, and also lipstick. And oh, the eyeliner, I love the eyeliner, the eyeliner is awesome. I'm going to start with the Cargo Cosmetics Foundation. This is number 40. Um, I will say, after trying this, I like the pump, I like the top, I'm using my beauty blender. This is the color um, that I got, number 40. It is a little dark for me, but I do kind of like that you can use it almost as a bronzing thing. The colors I had to pick online, so this color isn't 100% my color, but again, I was just trying to make a guesstimate. I do like the coverage of this. Yesterday, I tried to take a shower to take this stuff off. Boom! You better get that makeup cleanser I recommend from Clinique to take it off because, no joke, this stuff is not coming off your skin in the water. So, if you are like me and you have some pigmented skin and you have maybe some rosacea, this is an awesome concealer to wear during the day. I do not find it heavy. And, um, you know, there are days where I'm at the pool and obviously not wearing makeup. And there's days where people come over and we're entertaining more. And I kind of want to look a little bit more poor, pulled together. As you age, you know, you got to put a little bit more effort into things. Okay, so that's the foundation. It's on. You can see. I think it does a really nice job of eliminating your skin. It's very pretty. I'm going to use the uh, blush now. This color is Bali. I really like this color. It comes in, there's, I think there's another color you can choose from, from the Cargo Cosmetics line, but this is the one I prefer. I like bright pinks. I just use my normal brush. What I do like about the Cargo line is it's super pigmented. You don't have to use a ton of this. You look at it, it has a tiniest bit of shimmer. I would liken this a lot to the NARS Orgasm color, which is a very beautiful everyday pink color with a little bit of shimmer. But this one you can swim in all day and you won't lose the color. So it's very comparable to that. I also like the shimmer kind of gives you a summery glow, makes your skin look really great. Uh, next up, let's just start with, we have swimmable eyeshadow, um, what do they call it, eyeshadow sticks. I'm using both the colors, this Island Bay, Sandy Bay, and Glacier Bay. I will link all of this for you guys to watch. Okay, so the Glacier Bay is this color, and I tend to use this one right here on my eye to give it brightness. I kind of go up. It's super smooth does not pull on your skin. I think it does really nice pigment. But I kind of like the effect of a little bit of brightness around your eye. I'm going to pause for a second and put on some concealer. That's the one thing I think is missing from this line is a waterproof concealer. Perhaps they haven't yet found a way. I don't know. I, the foundation does do a really nice job of covering it up. Typically, if I were going in the beach or the pool, the foundation would be more than enough for me. But if you live in very hot climates where you sweat a lot, I actually have found that I'm putting this on when I'm going out for the day so that it doesn't sweat off. So far, I haven't broken out at all my skin. I'm doing the exact same skin regimen that I normally do. And I haven't noticed whatsoever breaking out. Okay, so concealer I'm putting on because I actually have some photos today that I have to take. And 
I'm trying to look a little more rested than get as a mom. Next, I'm going to use the Sandy Bay. This is like what I would consider a good crease color. And I'm not really honestly trying to look like I'm wearing makeup. I'm just trying to look like, oh girl, you're by the pool. How do you look that good when you're sitting by the beach? What? And I wore this stuff yesterday and it really truly didn't budge. I actually went all day wearing it, came home, did a quick touch up and I was out the door again. So it really did last. Okay, so you see the kind of crease we're going down here. It's not precise, but this one is the Island Bay. Oh, I just did Island Bay. What's wrong with me? Coffee. This is another one called Sandy Bay. If I got confused in here, I may have. This one's more coppery. This one's more neutral brown. The Sandy Bay is what I would use in my crease, and I think that's what I did, but you all know better than me because you're watching. The coppery one is just kind of nice just to add a little bit in here, kind of wing it up. Um, this would look super pretty on girls with uh, more olive tone, darker skin, black skin. Um, I just sort of take my middle finger. Always use your middle finger when you're applying any form of eye makeup. Super light pats. You're messing with the most delicate part of your face and skin. This is not the time to be heavy handed. Okay, next up is something I really like. And this is the Cargo Cosmetics Swimmables Long Wear Eyebrow Pencil in Light. Really like this thing. This is awesome. So this has like a little pull up um, gel stick. It's kind of like a gel pencil. Honey, don't come in. I'm doing a video. Give me one second, okay? All right, so for this one, this does a nice job of filling in your brows, and it doesn't wear off in the sweat, heat, water. I've been swimming in it. I've been by the ocean, sweating my butt off. I actually rode bikes with the kids in this, and it stood the test of time. I like that it's angled, so you could put it on really easily, quick out the door. All right, another super favorite product is the Cargo Cosmetics Swimmables um, Eye Pencil. I love this. I'm wearing the black. I use it in my waterline. This is super easy to apply. It doesn't run, much like my favorite eyeliner brush and using gel. This goes on really easily. And I haven't had any problems getting it on and it lasts. I love this one. All right, I hate to say it, but I do have um, a least favorite and that is the uh, lipsticks, the swimmable lipsticks. Do they work? Yes. Are they exceptionally drying on your lips? Yes. Um, are the colors accurate? No. So let's just show you this. I mean, this is the color um, Brighton. It looks like a beautiful peach. When you put it on, I find that it definitely runs a bit more orange than I would have guessed. I don't find it like a neutral at all. It's like, bam. So there's that color. Oh, let me grab the tissue here. There is no waterproof mascara that I received. I can't tell you for sure if Cargo Cosmetics sells a waterproof mascara, but I didn't receive it to try. So I'm using my standby uh, Urban Decay. It's called Cannonball. This is the one I love. It is a great lengthening and separating mascara. It is not for fullness. I wear mas waterproof mascara nearly every day. One, because I have dry eyes and my eyes tear up. The second is because makeup just melts and this waterproof does a nice job of not letting your 
eyes. Done. Check. All right, let's continue back to lipstick. This is the next color I received. It is called Cape Town. Looks like it should be a super bright pink, which is usually the colors I gravitate to. I think they look great when you have kind of like a red pigment. I love bright pink lipsticks. And when you put it on, you're kind of like, wah, wah. That is not pink at all. That is a super neutral, pale, slightly purple undertones, very mauvey. Um, this might make a nice neutral lipstick if you want, but this is not what I expected from this. The last one that I received that I'm going to use is called Sorrento. This looks like it should be a bright pink reddish color. Ready? Holy cow. Deep berry color. Deep berry. I didn't all the way expect this. I thought this would be much lighter. So, of the three, it is the one I like the best. I tone it down a little bit. When you put these lipsticks on, they glide on really nicely. But almost, almost instantly, you can feel your lips like sucking in the pigment. And it gets, I mean, it is like super dry on your lips. So the plus side is I've been putting gloss on it or chapstick all day, and I'm able to keep the color on. The downside is if you were just to wear this, like look how hard it is for me to move. It is on there, people. Okay, so that's it. The other thing I got sent to me that's really pretty and it's not a swimmable line is the Cargo Cosmetics Tokyo and Bloom Eyeshadow Palette. Beautiful colors. Very affordable uh, line, and it's all designed around the cherry blossoms of Tokyo. All right, so that's my review on the Cargo Cosmetics line. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will include all of the links so you can go buy it because everything is really affordable. And if you have a beach vacation coming up or a pool in your backyard and you entertain, I think this would be a great way to go for sure. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Page, Blue Gray Gal. I hope you follow me or recommend me to your friends. Bye.